Tonight I want to address a uh, question I was asked in my last video. Uh, and that last video was dealing with how to respond to people who are what we would call Glocktards. And uh, in that video, someone asked me, do I think Glocks make a good first gun? Well, now, conventional wisdom will tell you no, they do not make good first guns. Uh, pretty much anyone you talk to on forums, not everyone, but the majority of people will tell you the lack of a safety, the style of the trigger, you know, that kind of, those things all add up to this not being a good first gun. It's not good for people who aren't familiar with handgun safety and how to handle a firearm. That's what most people will tell you. Uh, but I'm not most people. Now, I think that the very things that a lot of people say make it unsuitable for a first gun, I think is what makes it a great first gun. With Glocks, you are taught from the very beginning as a necessity to keep your finger off of this. Keep your finger off the trigger. There is no safety. There is no other mechanism that stands between you and pulling that trigger and having an accident or a negligent discharge. So, right off the bat, you learn you have to learn the very most important thing about a handgun and that is it will not fire if you keep your finger off the trigger. They may not have the fanciest sights. They may not have, you know, the best trigger. They may not have the most safety features. But because they're so simple, because they're so raw, they're easy to use. As far as first time gun owners go, you can learn how to use a Glock very quickly. You can learn how to tear down a Glock very quickly. You don't become intimidated by the gun. So once you learn, keep your finger off the trigger, which you have to know before you even handle the gun, you don't find this false sense of safety in mechanisms. I have seen so many people that I have taught uh, how to use a gun who have safeties on their guns, I'm pointing right here because they're usually right here, uh, who become so dependent on that that they think once that's on, well then safety measures don't matter. You can be like, oh, play with my gun because the safety's on. That creates a bad mindset. That creates a bad habit. So not having that safety and not having that false sense of security that, okay, my safety's on, this is no longer a deadly weapon, that teaches you to treat it with respect from day one. And I think that most people, if they're capable of owning the gun, are capable of handling a Glock because they're capable of handling it safely. Now you'll see people like there was just recently a guy who shot himself with his gun. Uh, the story says he pulled his Glock out to show his family, took around, took out his magazine, showed the gun off, and then while waving the gun about his head, accidentally fired the gun and shot himself in the head. Now to me, that story doesn't tell the whole story. It tells me he was doing something really stupid and shot himself. So, you know, no gun is idiot proof. He could have been, that could have been 1911 and he could have just switched the safety off and shot himself. It could have been a revolver. He could have been goofing around and shot himself. If you're an idiot and you play with your guns, you are going to have problems. And that's the one of the things I like about Glock. One of the things that makes me think they are are a good first gun because they teach you respect from day one and you must follow the rules. You don't, like I said, you don't have that false sense of security. You know you can't do something stupid. And plus, they're very simple to use, very simple to tear down. You can learn on them very easily. So all that to me adds up to, yes, I do say they are a first gun. I don't agree with most people who say they are not.